Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Heffy Crafts and I have fallen in love with some of the Lawn Fawn critters. I've decided to call this little guy Timmy and he's going to be the star of the card today. I decided it was time I made a card using some patterned paper. So I'm starting off by running some of um, some green paper and blue paper through the cuddle bug using some stitch rectangles die. And I've also cut some vellum using this mama elephant uh, I think it's called Stitch Trio Die. And I'm going to be using the rule of thirds to create a panel along the top section of my card. I'm also using this stitched borderline. And I want a line of stitching to run about two thirds across the top of this piece of pink cardstock. And um, if you can imagine, it's a bit like little footsteps. And my tortoise is going to go on the right hand side of that. Just want to make sure that all my pieces are nice and straight so i'm using my craft mat and a metal ruler and a craft knife to cut them all nice and straight and i'll also trim down this piece of pink because i just want a very thin uh, thin border strip now let's get these all stuck together i'm using my atg gun for the paper here I think we'll give it a nice strong bond and then for the vellum I'm going to use a glue pen but I'm only going to run it along this bottom edge of my polka, polka dot blue paper and I'll stick that down on top and while it dries I'll pop an acrylic block on top of it. Next of all I'm going to put the pink strip on top and I'm actually using some really thin double sided sticky tape for this and I'm overlapping the, the vellum and the green cardstock and this will actually give it an extra strong hold for the vellum, it's not just relying on the glue. Here's this little tortoise, I'm also stamping the present from the Lawn Fawn Year 2 Belated Birthday stamp set and the little balloon is from the Year 4 Hippo Birdie stamp set. To colour these I'm using my Copic markers and I'm using two or three different tones of colours for each of the, the colours that I'm using here. Because these images are so small they really don't take an awful long time to cut out. Not cut out, colour in. They don't take a long time to cut out either because I'm using the coordinating dies with a little piece of post-it tape to stick them on and then running them through my cuddle bug. So here I have my little critter and he's going to have a balloon in his mouth like this and the present on his back like that. I'm going to put the greeting on here now and um, so move them to the side while I prepare for um, adding my greeting onto the card. I'm actually going to emboss onto this area and I'm embossing using some white embossing powder but for the word belated I'm going to use some picked raspberry so I can bring some of that hot pink colour into the card because it's going to be on that strip going horizontally across my card and also the little pink present. The word birthday I'm going to do in white as well. And the happy belated birthday greetings are all from the belated birthday stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Once I've done that, I'm going to mount it onto a blank card, folded note card, like this. And I can stick on my little critters. And I'm using some Ranger Multi Medium in matte for this. Is a really good bond and any excess over the sides will um, dry matte. I thought that it needed something extra to finish the card so I'm using these mini hearts die. It's a Simon Says Stamp die actually and I've cut out some glitter cardstock in a white glitter and also in a hot pink glitter and I've, I'm going to adhere these on using a little tiny glue applicator. This is actually um, an eyelash, false eyelash applicator brush that I bought off eBay. 
It was a tip that I think I picked up from Jennifer McGuire. It's really easy to apply a little tiny bit of glue. Thank you so much for joining me and please do give me a thumbs up if you like the card today and you can see me over at HungryHeffyCrafts.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day! Thank you.